Hey, I'm Kev Kem, Mr. So Cole, welcome back to Bar Show's Control HD. Has I know I've been a bit up and down producing this series recently, as we've still got two classes to go through. Two of these, beginning with the Class 1 Unlimited Vehicles, as we've got the KMC Strike League to begin with. Four races to enter, has we do not own any vehicles. Let's go to the garage then and check out these vehicles. Let's, let's check them out as you go through and buy a vehicle. So, the Unlimited one class of buggies. Some of the highest performance off road vehicles built today, producing over 600 horsepower, and costing as much as $500,000. They are so challenging to build and maintain as they are to drive. And so we can have the Porter Race Buggy, the Chen Chen Nalf Millennium Buggy, the Jimco Buggy, the Geelong MXR Buggy, the Porter Race Car 02 Buggy, the Smith Built Truggy as well. So there's no difference in performance, it looks like. Which one costs the most, though? And do we actually have enough credits? We do have enough credits, just need to check that. It's got almost 600,000. And these cost between 350,000 360,000. They are apart from race one, which is under 350,000. So we probably don't want that. Should we go with which one has the best racing stripes? I think that's what we need to have. Maybe this. This actually looks pretty cool. So we go paint scheme one. Yeah, paint scheme one. So now we've got a buggy. I'm going to do some upgrades. And then I'll see you for the first race. So we are in Canyon Lake with our new vehicle. And it's the Gal Run track. Let's get underway. Let's see if we can remember the controls. Well, I'm going to have to change gears. Negative, everyone's splitting up. I and mean, on this vehicle, I've upgraded everything. Not fully. Apart from the suspension. I haven't touched that at all. I want to see how this goes without touching the suspension. Has it got four laps around here, apparently? I'm not sure where the last four laps so we keep bumping and grinding like that. Let's try and make our way up to fourth. Whoa, okay. There goes some panels. Because they're taking our own line. I guess in fourth is the highest gear. Has we are still in fourth about or second behind Randy Wilson. I oh, know we're not. We're leading against ten opponents here. Got ten races. Good to see double figures. That's all. We've got a bit of a bend coming up here. Might need to lift off finally. Or not, I can just use the camber and the banking. There you go. They gave us a good boost, couple second lead. It's Wilson trying to hang on there. The challenge us, but not working as... Maybe didn't actually need to upgrade the engine, thinking about it now. Let's look at this, five seconds in the lead. Pro charging 50 miles per hour as well. You're going to get the speed though. Because there's a repair station in front. I'm surprised we won't need it, as there goes the shocks and clutch. But I don't think we need it on this opening, that. We go a bit wide. What have I missed? Showing off this game, being career. As I've apparently taken the wide line now. Hey, the car chose it. Who am I to argue with it? We've got a seven second lead over Wilson still. Look at Buddy coming in third. Trying to challenge. Is he coming to start finish line and coming on to the second lap? So that that time was a 2.10. So it's a long lap and we are basically flat out through all of it. We're taking a narrow line here. We're still not lifting at all. Don't think I've lifted once since the start. And look at our lead, absolutely massive. As now we've got Randy Perry in third. No buddy up to second. Wilson's gone. As now the engine is damaged a bit. Can't take that we're not lifting at all. I'm surprised it lasted over a lap, to be honest. I'm surprised this vehicle has lasted a lap. 
All these jumps as well. Look at this jump. Just about land in it. And now we've got the outside line. So if we have to use the banking as much. That wasn't too bad. Still got a massive lead. Loving this class one unlimited buggy already. It's quite insane grip. So then I've been trying to drift this thing around most of the corners. And you can see it's definitely worth the up to $500,000 price tag. Definitely a racing machine. And great fun as well. Even when you're going flat out. So we've got the pit this time. No, look at that thing. Look at the wheels. All getting reverse. There we go. Go on, pit crew. Thankfully, none of them have left during the downtime between series. And look at that, we've left the pits. They're not even. None of, nobody stopped yet. That's how big a lead we've got. A couple of drivers not pitting at all. Just going through. That's interesting. That includes Buddy, Oscar D. Simone, Simone as well. As we approach halfway mark of this race. So we did a 2.10 that opening up, and this is a 2.20. Of course, we had a pit stop as well. It's a very wide line. Maybe if I lift off the throttle occasion, I won't have to pit this lap and it'd just be the final lap instead. Or I can just keep going flat out because it seems to be working pretty well at the moment. This is a good battle behind, it looks like. Everyone bunched together. Go over the jumps. It's a pretty cool course with these three lanes. There's all a bit right there. Let's start going back to the middle lane. The car has decided. But we're running our own lane as there goes the shots and clutch again. Whereas if, it, oh, if it's only the shots and clutch that have gone, no need to pit. So the engine is fine. That's where we'll really be losing time because, of course, as you've probably seen, there's a bit of high speed around it. Almost a 30 second lead. Can afford to pit this lap and then maybe not pit the last lap. Nah, let's keep going this lap. I just raved to the mechanics. There's all engine gone. Maybe I should have pitted. Let's say we got a good enough lead. It shouldn't cost us too much. So as we avoid the rocks. Look at that sneaky rock hiding in the undergrowth. Let's look at this booty shaker going towards the line, going on to the final lap. Oh, it's flying. It's not made for that, but it seemed to do well. So we do a 155. So pitting costs around 25 seconds, probably. If we compare that that time to the previous lap of 220, there's lots of drivers are pitting. Got Randy Wilson back up to third. Found his mojo again. Oh, up to second. Massively up to second. Did he not pit? Well, everyone else did. Is that Roy? Because he's suddenly almost half a minute ahead of Oscar Di Simone. As all avoiding a wildlife just. I don't know why I went down a gear there. I forgot that's actually the gear stick, isn't it? Has we've got Jason Taylor in third. Is he a former NFL lineman? Uh, so, oh, look at our right wheel wheel. That's not looking good. Oh, the vehicle's now coasting. Never could see the pits over the horizon, though. Come on, vehicle. We get it down to third now. It's over that jump. That's when we can see the pits. 
But now Alex Gonzalez up to third. We really should have pissed the final last lap. Someone's very slow at the back as well. So there you can see at the pits. You can make it, car. I mean, you're still going at over 80 miles per hour, so you probably can make it. Now you get down to second. Someone's permanently in the pits, it looks like. There we go. We could help this guy out. Are you just stuck in the pits, mate? Oh, you are. We will free you. I'm not sure that actually worked. Oh, it did. There we go, Nook. We're not just a ruthless leader. We help our fellow competitors out. And then we punt them into Cactus. Get out of here. It kind of didn't quite work. We are leading over Randy Wilson just. He has gained quite a lot. But it looks like he might have pitted on this final lap. So it could be close to Jamie and Alex Gonzalez. As we go across the line and take our victory in the first race of this championship. By 10 seconds ahead of Randy Wilson. And then Alex Gonzalez to Sky La Pla in fourth. Then Randy Perry, John Haar. Then Oscar De Simone, then Jason Taylor, Buddy, Fred Camp, and then Brian Ewart. I have no idea what that last surname was. As now we head to the second race around the Canyon de Shelly environment and the Slim Ledge. I hope I don't fall off here then. As we've got four, another four that race. Starting in last. Not a good getaway. You can already see this is going to be a very tight and tristy environment. And here they is. Oh, there goes Buddy down. Go around the outside up into... No oh, no! Rock's taking us! How's oh, so this invite? Is this track? I think I remember this. It's, where's the speed in this thing? That's way much more speed in second, huh? And look at everyone <laughs> trying to find space around here. God, it's like watching the Hilda Wheeler Beast in the Savannah, isn't it? As everyone's struggling to get up the hill. As you go down the inside of Jason Taylor, up into Sith. We've got Skyler in front. Oh, it gets close. Oh, and there it goes. Someone, and then we get taken out by a tree. Instant karma there. So we're back down to eighth, head of Brian. Back with Randy Wilson. Top two from the last race, not doing particularly hot in this opening that. Let's go down the inside of Randy Pay, around the outside of Jason Taylor, back up to fifth. There's a much shorter lap. There's, oh, we're getting pushed wide by Skyler. Fighting hard. So we fight hard back and take that fourth place. We've got Oscar in front. He's gone to the second up. Barely touching that foot. Oh, and Oscar's round. Oscar meets Sky, though. The actual Sky, though. Let's try and go round the outside of Alex Gonzalez. Having another very good race. Was finished third in that last one. So finishing second, he's probably our main competitor at the moment. With Randy down the order. So once again, do not need the pit. Or do we? I have no idea what happened there. Buggy just flew in a straight line. Thanks for the bump start, Brian. So we're fourth, but look at that, we're miles behind the lead group now. And uh, no! Buggy! Where are you going? You meant to stick to the trail. You suddenly got an attraction to rocks, it looks like. As you now got John Hurrah in front. 
Oh, it looks like the top three have closed up. Due to their infighting, we're able to catch up again, and now we've got a gang of five at the top. As you go into the tree, of course. I bet I'd have ever just put that tree there, just to mess with everyone. Like, yeah, you can maybe take speed through this corner, but... Oh, I put a tree there. Now I'll try it. I'm going to find you. I'm going to ram with my buggy, mate. As we are on fifth. The engine is gone. Come down the inside for fourth. Oh, good move. That's how you do a block pass. As you might have to pit this, that, with all the damage. Of Whoa! What's happened to Alex? There's our main competitor. I don't want to speculate on what happened to him now. He's in a better place, maybe. As we get going again in fourth. That's not bad after a pit stop. Fully repaired our car as well. And the top two did not pit. Could that have been a mistake from them? So we go get the car majorly stopped for that corner. Maybe you need to flick the rear end a bit more. As that was not very elegant, was it? Has he got the top three right in front? None of them have pitted though. Have you got Randy Wilson behind five seconds behind? Might have pitted. So this is closing up now. So there you go, get into the tree. Okay, Deverpo, I won't come after you now. You know, my best friend. We go into the final lap. 38 7, Skyland second. Is it Oscar in the lead then? Of the visiting god. That'd be amazing. No, it's Randy Perry. It's the other Randy. As we go for the inside out move. Oh, he's blocked it. Look for the inside into the next corner. No, coaster car into that corner. Accelerate. Well, you pit. He's not. Brave man, Randy Perry. Got Skyler behind a couple of seconds behind. Has he really damaged his vehicle though, Randy Bay? Look at this, he's motoring along. Whoa, braking! What are you doing, buggy? Hit the brakes and suddenly he wants to go to Australia. As there goes the shocks and clutch, there goes our chance at victory, maybe. Because I dare use the brakes in this thing. How dare I? Just got to coast it in the corners as all. Well. Did our rear wheel get damaged? I'm not sure. Now nah, it looks like it's still rolling in a straight line. So we're catching up to Randy. Trying to make it a nervous finish. Oh, he's gone into the tree! The tree of destiny! Oh, the verpa, I love you now. As you cross the line and win again. Randy Wilson in second. What the hell? Same one, two with Jason Taylor in third. Randy Perry with just a shed of a car comes home in fourth. The buddy at the back. So that was a pretty good race in the end. Just pretty good. As now we head to Kokono Island and the Lagoon. As here we are with some beautiful sunshine on our backs for another four lap race. The multiple routes, so oh, it's this place, isn't it? Oh, they're, oh look, they're the tourists again. On their cruise ship. Eating their wine and caviar. Watching us while we race hard. Over the sand. This probably shouldn't have taken that inside line, I'm guessing. Because there's the pits. At least you know where they are. This is still in the last. Oh, we were with Randy Wilson in the last. Once again, not the best start. For the top two in the championship. As we make it four wide. That was a good strategy as you come out in fourth. Look at that dust being kicked up in our faces. Can't imagine driving in first person. In this game. Seriously. If you do kudos to you. I can never do it. 
and I'm someone who uses first person or cockpit in almost every game I play apart from gravel because again you probably have visibility issues like this and then the MotoGP games or Supercross games because I could do first person I'm just much more used to third person showing off the wider scale of everything uh, so we're going into the ocean for a dip. Um, we've buggered up our front wheel. No! So we're in fifth, but we need a medic. As we go near the end of the lap. Oh, they got two places to get repaired. There we go. So we're going to rejoin in last, but at least we've got a fully healed up machine and everyone's kind of in a straight line. Look at this in front. What is going on? Does he have the brakes? Oh, this time the car doesn't mind the brakes. Go try and go around the outside up into eight, seven, six, fifth. As we cross the line, I'll take that position. As you go through the mud, you got to keep it in third. There you go. Got a superb run on Brian. It's whoa! Sky almost taken out by. I think that's Randy Perry. Is that? There's no. The rear tire's gone again. Both tires. Are you kidding? Have you just gone past the mechanics? Are you absolutely kidding? I hope you're not enjoying this. My pain in sixth. That's why well, people are slow in front. I can't afford to lose momentum now. Don't be doing that. Thanks, John Harrah, for being a break. No, Jason Taylor, what are you doing? Maybe other people are damaged. This is why everyone is so close. Thank God for this. We go downhill, we're virtually in last, or about to be last. But everyone is so... Look how close it is! He can put a blanket over everyone. They're all struggling. Well, not as bad as me, it looks like. I'm actually falling back slightly. But we can see the repair centres. There goes the engine. No surprise about that. I cannot believe that jump is just after the repair end. I could have quickly stopped maybe, but still. As everyone is just bump drafting each other to the mechanics, I'm guessing. As we're making our way through the field again with two wheels. We're up to fifth. That can't be right. There's no one pitting. No one's pitting. So they're just really slow. As we rejoin in last. Engine's already gone. We've just left the pits. What have you... The engine's just playing with us. Oh no. It's fine. It's fine. God bloody joker is an engine. Let's get out of the way. As yes, there are people wet in front. As we go into the second half of the race then, in fifth. So will they pit then? For repairs are up to third. Might have to take the high line. What are you doing, John? Do not do a massive jump. There we go. No. Some drivers are not pitting. So we're rejoining second behind Randy Perry. Oh, do we? Oh, he's pushing us wide. Randy. It wasn't my fault the tree was there in the last race, okay? He's never going to forgive me, is he? Really trying to push us around. But we do take the lead then. So let's see if we can hold it now and keep our car in one piece. 
You can probably hear it modulating the throttle quite a lot there. Making sure we're not jumping too hard or far. Kind of coasting in some parts as well. Like that. Making sure we land just after. Kind of on the flat stuff. So, oh, no, 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 no. That was almost off the edge again. We've already cleaned our car. We don't need to do it again. Maybe after the race. Has he got a 1.4 second lead? No, 4 second lead. And the big gap to John Harrah. In further, someone's broken down. He's dropping to last. Randy's still not pitting. Such a trooper. Doesn't... Maybe he doesn't actually have mechanics. That's why he's never pitted. He's just here by himself with a buggy. Just thought he'd enter for fun. And now he's fighting for victories. He's not sure what he's doing. There's almost 10 seconds in the lead, heading on to the final out. New record 205. Could maybe get under the two minute mark. There's all jump. There you go, he nailed it beautifully. So there goes the shocks and clutch. It's Randy over 10 seconds back now. John Ara almost 30 seconds back. I hope they got people enjoying this now that I'm cruising in the lead. Let's go over these chops. Oh my god. That is not what you're meant to be doing. And it's like a couple of people have pitted, a couple are slow again. Oh, sorry, what all this happened to Randy Perry? Maybe he shouldn't be ignoring his pits as he's dropped way back. And now here comes the other Randy, Randy Wilson. Where's he come from? I think well, we could have another one too of the same pair. That'd be quite something. As, oh, there goes the right rear. Gonna have to make an emergency pit, pit stop on this final lap. Oh, are we? There's only a couple of corners to go, isn't there? Can maybe survive. To the finish. Nah, no, I want to be safe. Let's go into the pits. I want to say hi to the crew. As we get going again. Jason Taylor in third. Yeah, Randy Perry. No mechanics. No podium now. You come out in the beautiful sunset. Look at that. Could probably spend like 20 seconds there actually staring at it. They go for the final corner. And we're going to win. Who's managed to park their cars here? I swear there's an island. Unless they've been ferried across, I guess, with the vehicles. That would make sense. As we win by over 15 seconds ahead of Randy Wilson once again. Jason Taylor in third. We've got a revolving door for third place, but not for the top two slots. Then Alex and Gar Gonzalez in fourth, Brian in fifth. That's good. There's Simone in sixth. Randy Perry down in seventh. In the end of a sky there. John Arar down in ninth. Buddy at the back once again. So we just got one race to go. The Lake Powell environment. The Soaring Eagle track. Let's see if our Soaring Eagle can get the job completed. Have you got another four that race? They do like that number, don't they? Gets on nine opponents. So we've got to watch out for Randy Wilson, basically. And there he is behind us in eighth. So, job done. I think you can put the chicken flag out now. Has he got Buddy in eighth actually behind? This is a crazy track. It's like an off road Tilka dome. It feels like it's whoa, buddy! Randy! Yeah, Randy, you're getting nudged. Oh, now you're beeping your horn at me. Does he go past the pits? For the first time. Drop into last. Tactical, of course, because it seems like everyone's just bunched up in front. 
We can drive as slow as we want to. Randy, calm down. It's a tiny tap. It's not like I destroyed your vehicle. It's, oh, we got a short course to end it. Of course we do. After those long races, that's good to see. Some variety. And oh, look at Randy. Look at that move. I'm into the top five. Might have to make some moves now. Does it go down the inside up into seventh? Once again, someone's beeping their horn at us. Or was that just Randy again? No, Rock! We still hold seventh, though. Let's slow down everyone behind us, thankfully. Uh, so we've got Buddy in front, who's not the quickest, unfortunately. And then everyone else is just bunched up again. My god, I get within 100 feet of someone and they just beep their horn at me. It's just like real life, but with women walking away from me. Uh, so you go onto the penultimate lap of the race, just set a new record, 102. Oh, look at people going on two wheels in front. We've damaged our rear wheel. Might have to pit. Buddy! Calm down, mate. I was saying we're going to pit on this penultimate lap then and then not pit on the final lap. There's the shocks and clutch are also damaged. Is it just not knowing how to drive this short track when compared to every other track so far? It's been like wide open, fast. Then you've got this track. So we're out in knife, Alex Gonzalez in last. We've got a repaired vehicle, probably don't have to pit again. No, rock! Seriously, what's with all these rocks placed? Damn you, nature. But now we've got a 10 second gap, are you kidding? We've got to push like a hell. No lifting. At all. They're going to the final lap. Championships in the balance. Because you don't know where Randy Wilson is. If he's like right up there again, he's probably blowing it. We need at least a top five, if my calculations are correct. Let's try and get that. There's, there's a position, there's a position. Oh, everyone's slow. So you avoid that, Rocks are up to see if there's Randy Perry, our buddy. Giving us that top five that we probably need. He's got Skyler in front. Oh, someone has gone into a different dimension. It's Randy Wilson, our championship rival. And so now I think we are safe in fourth. Could be nice to end with a podium note. As you hit the rock, that's how you get a podium. As you come across in front of Buddy Wins. After I said it was slow. Of course he disproves my theory. With Jason Taylor in second, Skylar fourth, John in fifth, Randy Perry sixth, Randy Wilson recovers from the other dimension to finish in seventh. Alex Gonzalez eighth, Brian in ninth, and Oscar in last. So we come first, we get the gold trophy. And we're comfy ahead of everyone else while we're wide. And that final race says Buddy makes it in fourth. And Oscar at the back. So we get a De Jong racing buggy, terrible Herbis at Remote Sports, and we've got our first gold trophy in the Class 1 Unlimited Leagues. Next time out, we'll be going to the 5 race Optima Ultimate Power League. Hopefully you'll be fully charged for the whole of that league. But thanks for watching, and I will see you then.